The uh, hammer phantom and uh, last I left off, first thing I had to do was I went ahead and cleaned the workbench. I uh, wanted some uh, clean uh, sheets on there and uh, I'm basically down to uh, painting stage and I just wanted to get ahead of uh, clean up. But anyway, got that accomplished. Uh, the hammer phantom, uh, one thing I've done so far is I went ahead and uh, finished airbrushing the base coat of the uh, phantom himself and it's basically just a panzer gray and uh basically he's ready now to start detail painting but i did have to go back in and uh just get all the nooks and crannies where i missed the first time uh what i'm going to do next is if you look at his jacket it's kind of a uh, lighter gray it's kind of tattered and uh weathered uh, i'm going to go in and uh, airbrush uh his folds in his clothing and uh, then I'll go back in and do a, a lighter gray, try to get close to I can to his uh, jacket there, and I'll do the highlights on his uh, pants and shirt and everything. And then I'm trying to do the white last because he's got a white collar, basically a white shirt. I want to try to do that. It won't be bright white like this. I'm going to do it more of a, oh, a lighter gray with highlight of white is what I'm planning on doing. But anyway, we'll get to that, try to get that accomplished uh, this weekend uh the base i went ahead and got the base painted and i just painted it a uh, uh flat black primer and uh, i'm a i'm on the fence of uh i like to paint models black because it does help with the uh color of the uh you know whatever you put on it, it just makes it a little more vibrant and it also helps with uh pre-shading but and i'm on the fence on that i'm not really a uh it does work on some things. It doesn't work on doesn't work on some. And I like to uh, I like to uh, post shade. I think I like to add the uh, panel lines like afterwards. You know, like the brick walls. It, but basically, you would paint uh, you know each brick with the airbrush, and the uh, black would show through as you would uh, do like pre shading. It's just uh, you know it, yeah, I'm kind of on the fence. It's it's cool and all, but uh, sometimes you just gotta do you know, I I'm more of a an effect guy, you know, whatever effect I can achieve either way to do it, that's the way I am. But anyway, got the base uh, painted black and I want to start trying to get it painted this weekend as well. Just so much to do and just so little time to do it all in. But anyway, Hammer Phantom is taking shape. Uh Ectobot he'll be on uh, deck next after I get the uh, uh, phantom painted because I got to decide what type of base I want to put him on. That's uh, it's kind of been slowing me down. Uh, the tactical shopping cart. Uh, what I've done so far is number one, you got to when you do a base, you got to tape it up because you don't want any overspray on your nice wood base. Because I have been there and uh, have screwed up many bases for not doing it. So, anyway, got the uh, base covered. I took some. Uh, uh, styrene, I basically made a uh, curb, and I didn't want to go too elaborate. I wanted to, I'm going to put some debris down and try to keep the uh, concrete curb uh, the way it is, just uh, you know, low to the ground. I took some, where is it, where is it? Paper mache, if you can see that right there. You can get the big old bag of this at the uh, craft store. I like it. Uh, it's like cellu clay, if you ever use that. Uh, you just mix it with water, and I mix it with a little bit of uh, white glue too, just to get the, because it has a tendency that wants to curve. But if you put the glue in it, it makes it uh, very rigid. And I also have, I also put some stiffy in there too, which actually helps, uh, just makes it a little more rock hard. But anyway, I think it makes good texture for ground. It takes about two or three days to dry because it's just uh, wet. Uh, mush of paper if you really want to get down to it and then I took some uh, kitty litter uh, oil dry and mix it in with the uh, base here and get it down just to give it more texture so the groundwork is ready to paint and then uh, the brick wall and I think I said that last time I uh, uh, got the bricks all uh, basically carved out with a number two pencil and I took some sandpaper and did some uh, uh, bullet holes if you can actually see in the uh, you know different sections of the wall so it's ready to be uh, glued down and uh, you can glue boss foam basically with five minute epoxy and it will uh, stick but anyway I did get the uh, I did have to seal the boss foam boss foam uh, stiffy is uh, really good if you uh, especially if you're doing like really small stuff if you do any uh, Say you need to mold it, you'll need to take some uh, 
uh, two part resin and brush it on just to get it real stiff if you want to do that. I mean, you can mold it from the stiffy, but if you're just doing diorama work and everything, stiffy is the way to go on that. But anyway, that's where I am on the tactical shop car. So hopefully, I will get a little jihadi. Uh, ooh, I even got some a little blood. Nope, nope. I don't know what that is. But anyway, we'll get a little jihadi, uh, try to get him his arm on and uh, try to get some more uh, painting. And I was working on the uh, uh, paper models here, which uh, I think I want to do some Ritz crackers right here. I'm going to put that in the cart because I think he needs a snack while he was uh, reloading his dushka there. But anyway, that is where I am on the uh, tactical shopping cart. And... Uh, I'm basically down to a couple projects and I've been eyeballing some uh, you know what to do after these so I found Isis armored war jeeps and uh, I'm a big fan of uh, not, not of Isis now but I do like their uh, choice of vehicles this is off of a Jeep Wrangler which I may build something like that I'm really tempted that's all uh, that's just all cool and everything you know I think uh I think a 35th scale one like that with a little uh, jihadi sitting next to it. I think that would be a uh, pretty darn slick. But anyway, we'll we may dive in that. But I may uh, I'm more apt to building this because I just found it this morning. This is the Sham Two, and this is built by the Syrian Rebels. Little uh, tank here. Uh, I don't know what truck it is. I'm gonna have to dig a little deeper. But I did find a video of it. We'll uh we'll uh play this I just think this thing is just slick there's so much uh, going on I mean even uh, uh, they even used a, uh, a PlayStation 2 controller <laughs> to you know, fire the gun I mean look at that so I'm gonna have to build that one I think the sham 2 is uh, required of me to build it and I gotta figure out what vehicle they use and all that surely I got something Anyway, Syrian Rebel uh, Armored Division there, that's just too darn slick. But anyway, that is what I am going to try to, uh, I think it's going to be my next project, is the Sham 2. But anyway, that's what I got going on today. We are researching the Sham 2, the uh, tactical shopping tart, getting all its uh, basic uh, uh, diorama deals, and we are starting to paint the uh, Hammer Phantom. So that's what we got going on today. So stay tuned for the next exciting uh, episode.